I go by Tony. Um, from Huntsville, Alabama. Uh, my drug of choice was uh, opiates in general. Mainly I was doing oxymorphone, which is opana and heroin. And I mean, before I got here, I mean, my life was completely unmanageable. Like, every day I would wake up, get high, and just hate myself that I was getting high. And like, next thing I know, if I was putting a needle in my arm and I was thinking, why am I doing this? You know, I was causing my family so much pain, I mean, my loved ones so much pain. I mean, I lost the love of my life because of drugs, because she couldn't deal with it anymore, even though she put up with me for about three years. I mean, I would cause my mom to cry every night thinking about it was, you know, I was about to OD any time like that. And I mean, just, I knew about it, but there was just that drive in me that, you know, like, I was on autopilot. I mean, I was, you know, hating that I was doing this, but I would constantly drive to the dude thinking why am I doing this, but it was just keeping me going for some reason. I mean, I couldn't manage it, I couldn't control it. I mean, I would just get that next fix in my arm and I'd be like, why the f am I doing this? Next thing I know, I'm going back to the dope man again and I just don't understand how and why that was happening. Well, I've, I've grown so much since I've been here. I mean, I definitely, I've had more of a growth in this one month I've been here in my whole life. I mean, I came in as a kid, and I mean, I'm leaving a man. I was, before the, here, I mean, I was a, a pathological liar. I constantly, you know, would be self-insecure by myself, self-doubting, uh, selfish. And I mean, I'm, I'm the complete opposite now. I mean, it, it took me a while at first because I've always had social anxiety problems. I've always had you know, problems talking and communicating. Because back in my early days, when my dad was an alcoholic, my, my sister was outgoing, I couldn't get a word in, and they would always interrupt me or, or like belittle what I was gonna say. And so I never thought what I had to say was, you know, good, you know, I never got that good feedback. So I didn't learn how to communicate. But since I've been here, I mean, I've, I, mean I, I speak in groups now. I never thought I could raise my hand in a big group of people or, you know, get the feedback back I do, because all these people are like, man, you got great things to say. I mean, I, I always was self-conscious about what I would say. I couldn't articulate what I would say, so I think people would be like making fun of me in my head. But I mean, once I got that feedback after, you know, actually stepping up and getting this shit off my chest, which really helped a lot, because I had a lot of stuff buried within me. I mean, I mean, it, it, you can't, help yourself if you don't you know let people know what's going on down deep down in your heart you know like people got to know what's going on and the good thing about it is they're all addicts here I mean the fact is like everyone's been down the same road all our roads have just collided you can relate to all these strangers that you met and I mean it's it's a brotherhood really and I mean I mean I ended up becoming a leader here. I mean, I was a follower all my life. I was always in the background. I was always in my comfort zone. So once I started coming out of my own, you know, comfort zone, I mean, I, I started growing a lot more. And I mean, I never thought I would be a leader of the community. I never thought I would get, you know, award for being such a good person in the community like I did today. I mean, it makes me so proud. Whenever you get to that point where, you know, you think that you can't, you know, stop that you think this is your life that's, you know, always going to be. I mean, how I was, it wasn't living. I mean, I was a walking shell of a man. I was a zombie. I mean, I had no goals. I had no confidence in myself. I mean, if you're like me, I mean, you just end up making that call. I mean, whenever I made my call, I was just looking for an NA meeting or AA meeting because, I mean, that day my mom found one of my needles. And I mean, I was like, all right, I need help. I mean, before then, I've always been thinking I need help, but I never actually thought that I could get the help. And man, it's just, it's, I know it's hard to make that call, but I mean, like I was saying, when I first made that call, I was just going, wanting to go to the meetings. And luckily I got in touch with this guy named Ryan, the first person I called, and he was an alumni at Palm Partners. And uh, he convinced me that I really needed to work on myself instead of going to meetings. Because, I mean, if I kept going, like, try to do it my way, I still would have been in the environment I was. I still 
you know, would eventually just not even commit to go into meetings. I want to take the suggestions that people were giving me about going to 12 steps, getting a sponsor, doing your 90 and 90, which is going to 90 meetings in 90 days. And I mean, it's, it's been the greatest thing I've done for myself is make that phone call. If you or someone you know is struggling, call 888-508-7072 now. That's 888-508-7072.